Apple is known for not disclosing much information ahead of the release date. However, due to its significant influence, various other sources tend to provide information, particularly about case specifications and details with manufacturing partners. In this video, we're going to discuss all the possible upgrades we're going to see in the upcoming iPhone 15, especially in the camera department. Considering the similarities and specifications among the last three iPhone models, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, and iPhone 14, there is notable hype for this year's release. Based on a series of leaks, it is suggested that the upcoming iPhone 15 might maintain the same 6.1-inch display size seen in the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14. However, a notable change could come in the form of a dynamic island notch for the standard model. Apple is also rumored to incorporate features like a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display, features that have been present in Android for many years. Furthermore, a significant shift may involve the inclusion of a USB-C port instead of the long-standing Lightning port for charging. This is a move that many believe Apple should have adopted earlier. In the previous year, the iPhone 14 employed the A15 Bionic SoC, which was identical to the chipset used in the iPhone 13. Notably, only the iPhone 14 Pro models received the new A16 Bionic chipset. As for this year's iPhone 15, it is highly likely to be equipped with the A16 SoC, marking a notable upgrade in performance. Well, let's talk about the iPhone camera, which is the most interesting part of any smartphone, in our humble opinion. Apple is planning cool upgrades for the cameras in the iPhone 15 series, as per Nikki Asia. They're using fancy sensors to make each pixel capture more light, so photos won't be too dark or too bright. This will really help with portrait and night photos. And guess what? All iPhone 15 models might get these better sensors. Now, there's more exciting stuff. Ming-Chi Ku, who knows Apple well, says the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus might get much better cameras, like the ones in the iPhone 14 Pro. This means all iPhone 15 photos could look clearer and more colorful, even the regular ones. For the super cool iPhone 15 Pro Max, Ming-Chi Ku has another idea. This phone might have a super zoom lens called Periscope Zoom. This means you can zoom in really far without making the picture look bad, like 10 times closer but only the big iPhone 15 Pro Max might get this. The regular iPhone 15 Pro might have a not-so-super zoom lens. Both Pro phones will still get better sensors for better photos, though. By the way, another leaker named Unknown Z21 says the big iPhone 15 Pro Max could change how his cameras look. They say the wide and close-up lenses might switch places. But don't worry, this probably won't change how you use the camera. It's more about how it looks. Now, you may wonder why so few minor upgrades. First of all, it's Apple we're talking about. And another reason behind it is that recent leaks have indicated that Apple is planning to increase the screen sizes for both of its 2024 iPhone Pro models. Specifically, the iPhone 16 Pro is set to have a larger 6.3-inch display, up from its previous size of 6.1 inches, Likewise, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a 6.9-inch display, compared to its previous 6.7-inch screen. This adjustment aligns Apple with the trend of having larger screens in the smartphone industry. This size increase will allow Apple to incorporate a periscope lens into the iPhone 16 Pro, a notable addition. Nonetheless, the significant advantage of the 48-megapixel camera introduced last year is its support for Pro Raw photos. This is Apple's version of Raw Files, which preserves more intricate image details while having larger file sizes. Additionally, they require less image processing. This results in greater flexibility during the photo editing process. So, what do you think about this upcoming iPhone 15 and its camera? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.